what's the animal that just doesn't give a shit? I forget the name of it. It was like a meme honey for badger. a while. Honey, honey badger. badger. Honey yeah, badger. yeah. So I saw like an hour and a half long documentary on a guy who keeps honey badgers as pets. They're the dog. worst pets in the world. They're awful. Like it, it, they're very smart and all they want to do is get out of their pen and fuck shit up. They, they attack the other animals. They damage it. They're like tearing his car apart. They're destroying everything. And he's trying to give the thing a decent place to live. But if you so much as put two sticks in there, the fucking thing makes a ladder and gets out. And then you discover the next morning that your tires have all been ripped to shreds and that your cat is dead or, or whatever. Good. Good. You shouldn't have that in his house. He's a fucking idiot. Uh, he deserves to well, be killed by it. He did keep it as an outdoor pet. Like, but he, he had like an outdoor enclosure and, and he showed you how it evolved. Like every time this thing would escape, it would do like thousands in damage. And then he would like plug that hole. But it's like playing whack-a-mole. Like another problem would pop up and another one and another one. And yeah. you know, how do you even have a door? Because this thing is excellent at climbing and it would just like put its hands in the cracks and work its way out. You can't out. even grab those things. I saw a uh, little YouTube research on one of those benders where you just look at a ton of YouTube shit about mm -hmm. animals. I do that. Uh, you can't <laughs> even grab like their back like like a you know how you can grab a cat that's misbehaving mm -hmm. back of the neck squeeze the skin it's kind of just docile with these things if you do that its skin is so loose it can just like whip its whole head around like it's wearing its skin like a poncho so it's like yeah to hold someone down by grabbing onto their poncho and they can just obviously turn around and fuck with you yeah like, like if you skin. get a grip of most like if you were to say grab me by my back skin You'd have me, right? Mm -hmm. And most animals these too. These things, yeah, it's like a loose jacket where they can spin around inside their skin and attack you. Like it, yeah. they're. You shouldn't be keeping those things. They shouldn't even exist. They're awful. I, I love those stories on the news when people keep odd pets and then they end up getting <laughs> fucked up by them. That everybody was so sad about that chimp lady. Oh, I was just giving my, <laughs> my chimp wine and benzodiazepines every day, and then suddenly he got a little out of control. It's like. Did he? Well, it Did was the friend, though. You it, idiot. It, it, the, the woman who owned the, the, the chimp uh, wasn't the one who was attacked. It was her friend. Uh, so, so it wasn't that, that made it even worse. And it ripped her fucking face off. Hey, Betsy, like, will you come over and babysit my chimp? No, I won't. Uh, not take care of dude did you see yet. that guy who got into the chimp fight? Uh, we tried to have him on the show. He told the story of how he fought a chimp. Yeah, oh, I want to awesome. show his whole video, but I, I feel like they. I think I've seen that. There's no much. way that chimp was going all out or even trying that hard. Like you can't survive. A chimp Everyone fight says that. Brilliant. My money's still. Humans are really more badass than we get credit for. Joe Lozon could fuck up a chimp. I'm sure of it. Joe I, Lozon I don't wouldn't know, have because... any fingers or genitals if he fought a chimp. No, but yeah. like three the genitals. Seconds. They go for your like like one of the things that like primates will do in a fight is like because the whole. The whole reason they're fighting is to fight over females, right? So if you can rip the other guy's balls off, then why do you need to to knock him unconscious? Won't he be surprised? It shows mouth guard and titanium cup. <laughs> nope. He's coming he in. He will rip that titanium cup off with the balls attached. Everyone makes them into super like monsters. Great at throwing punches, but I feel like they're real good at like grabbing something and pulling it off of you. Like I feel yeah, like they're good at that and scratching that and. Pull. And they do that thing where they just like like monkey whip you like with both arms like all crazy like like yeah. I, I don't know man I I've never I have no idea how strong a chimp is I've never tangled with one but I know that animals are always surprisingly strong like that camel for example I like put my hand around its neck and it it was so strong I, I it, it ten times my strength it felt like it was just it, like I was a toy I don't know I, I wouldn't want to tangle with the chimp I, I've seen that video too I believe him I believe his fight. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I believe everything he said. I, it, he was interesting. Um, it, it, so the guy had this real strong kind of like Jersey accent, if you could call it that. And he's like, you know, so the chimp came at me and I grabbed it and I threw it away because I didn't want to hurt it. Unbeknownst to me, you can't hurt a chimp. <laughs> and then later he was like, like he, it, it'd like grab him and claw him and stuff. And then he threw it down on its head as hard as it possibly could. And he came right back at him like, like it wasn't an issue at all for him. Uh, apparently chimps are pretty tough, but I feel like they're, I don't know, the difference has been exaggerated. Have you seen the pictures of the, the shaved chimps? Yes. They're not yes. like shaved chimps, and it looks like they're bodybuilders. They're just sitting there just so, just the, the muscle even looks dense. Like it's not human muscle. Yes. It's like, it looks like yeah. if you touched it, it would be like be hard hitting like oak wood or something. On the like other hand, have you seen bears with no hair? They look like big rats. Yeah, Horrifying as well. Uh, well horrifying i'll monsters. grant you but i i 
I feel like if I saw a hairless tiger, the thing would just be skin stretched across muscle and really impressive. You see a hairless bear and you're like, like, I don't know. It just, the tiger would fuck you up. They've got loose, that loose skin thing going too. Yeah, bears. and some fat on them and, and stuff like that. Well, they have to hibernate. But even then, a bear would fuck you up. Like, there was some YouTube video or some shit where it showed like a bear's swiping strength with its its paw. And when you see that in the wild and they like hit each other, they kind of just absorb the blow and it's like, ah, you bastard. You know, it's not life threatening. It doesn't look like if they do that to you, like your head, apparently it would just like take it clean off, like just break your neck, break broken neck. And just your head is like hanging by a couple, you know, veins and soft tissue.